Okay, so someone recently asked me the easiest way to get a PDF into the app for score on an iPad. And there's two things that someone would need to know about to do it the way that I do it. And both of them are unfortunately way less direct on an iPad than they are on a Mac. However, they're extremely useful tips if you use them a lot. So the first thing is the Files app. The Files app acts a lot like the Finder does on the Mac. And you can see that on the left sidebar here, you have a lot of the same things you have on the Mac. You have different locations that exist across all of your different cloud drives. Now, like on a Mac, you can see on the locations part of the sidebar that I can actually have plugins which represent third-party cloud drives. So for example, I can have Dropbox actually integrate all of the stuff from my Dropbox account right into the Files app, just like it would on the Finder on a Mac. So uh, I'm gonna show this using Google Drive. If you can't see Google Drive in the sidebar, you can click the three dots up here and then say Edit Sidebar, and then all of the possible cloud drives available to your iOS device will appear. You can toggle them on and off. So Google Drive might be by default toggled off. Once you toggle it on, you go to it, and then I've navigated already to a folder within my Google Drive that contains some sheet music. Now, here's where the four score part comes in, is I actually drag and drop these, which is a feature that was introduced a couple operating system versions ago on iOS for the iPad. And the way that you do it is you have to have two apps open side by side. So the way that I do this is it's a lot easier if the app is on the dock already. And you get the dock to come up by just swiping up a little tiny bit from the bottom of the screen. Now I have four score already on the dock right here. But if I didn't, one trick to getting it on the dock is you can see that I have these three apps to the right on my dock, which are like recently opened apps. If you don't keep the app you want to open in split view on the dock, you can just open it and then go back to your previous app and then it'll be showing up as one of your recent apps. So let me go back to the files app again and um, open up my dock here. And then from the dock, I'm going to hold my finger on four score, only I'm going to drag it off the dock. And there's a couple of different ways you can open both at the same time. If I let go, it's going to open it in an iPhone size, like a little skinny app that you can slide off and on from the edges of the screen. Now, if I were to hold it a little bit more closely to the edge, it would dock it more permanently, and then I can change the, the ratio of which app takes up how much space on the screen, then I can entirely get rid of an app if I want to. Um, you can even do three of these at once. So I could have another instance of the Files app open at the same time if you drag it into the middle area between both. And then I can have three apps open at once, and one is just sort of like for reference, kind of dragging it in and out on that device. All right, I don't need that. Now here's what I'm gonna do, it's really easy, is I can actually just drag and drop like I'm on a Mac here. I'm gonna use my finger to hold this, and then if I drag it, I've got this context menu, but if I keep dragging, you'll eventually see a plus button in four score. Now I actually, let me move this back because I can actually drag multiple of these um, at once. I can, while holding the first file, I can tap others and grab a bunch at once and then drag all of them into four score and then it'll load them. So this is um, not, you know, quite as direct as doing it on the Mac, but once you learn it, it's pretty useful. If you like the tips in this video, make sure you check out my podcast, Music Ed Tech Talk. You can find it at musicedtechtalk.com. I also blog about this stuff at robbyburns.com. You can buy my book, Digital Organization Tips for Music Teachers, from Oxford University Press or Amazon.